Hello listeners, I am in chapter 4 of the book Ikigai. I will continue to read. The name of the chapter is Find Flow in Everything You Do. I just finished the difference between concentrating on a single task and multitasking. I will continue. What can we do to avoid failing victim to this flow impeding epidemic? How can we train our brains to focus on a single task? Here are a few ideas for creating a space and time free of distraction to increase our chances of reaching a state of flow and thereby getting in touch with our Ikigai. Don't look at any kind of screen for the first hour you are awake and the last hour before you go to sleep. Turn off your phone before you achieve flow. There is nothing more important than the task you have chosen to do during this time. If this seems too extreme, enable the do not disturb function so only the people closest to you can contact you in case of emergency. Designate one day of the week, perhaps a Saturday or Sunday, a day of technological fasting, making ex exceptions only for e-readers without Wi-Fi or MP3 players. Go to a cafe that doesn't have Wi-Fi. Read and respond to email only once or twice a day. Define those times clearly and stick to them. Try the Pomodoro technique, which is get yourself a kitchen timer. Some are made to look like a Pomodoro or to, or tomato and commit to working on a single task as long as it's running. The Pomodoro technique recommends 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of rest for each cycle. But you can also do 50 minutes of work and 10 minutes of rest. Find the pace that's best, that's, that's best for you. The most important thing is to be disciplined in completing each cycle. Start your work sessions with a ritual you enjoy and end it with a reward. Train your mind to return to the present when you find yourself getting distracted. Practice mindfulness or another form of meditation. Go for a walk or a swim. Whatever will help you get centered again. Work in a space where you will not be distracted. If you can't do this at home, go to a library, a cafe, or if your task involves playing the saxophone, a music studio. If you find that your surroundings continue to distract you, keep looking until you find the right place. Divide each activity into groups of related tasks and assign each group its own place and time. For example, if you are writing a magazine article, you could do research and take notes at home in the morning, write in the library in the afternoon and edit in the couch at night. Bundle routine tasks such as sending out invoices, making phone calls and so on and do them all at once. This is, it now shows the difference between advantages of flow and disadvantages of distraction. A focused mind is advantages of flow. A wandering mind is the disadvantages of distraction. Living in the present, whereas thinking about the past and the future. Advantages of flow, we are free from worry. Disadvantages of distraction, concerns about our daily life and the people around us invade our thoughts. Advantages of flow, the hours fly by. Disadvantages of distraction, every minute seems endless. Advantages of flow, we feel in control. Disadvantages of distraction, we lose control and fail to complete the task at hand and or other tasks or people keep us from our work. Advantages of flow, we prepare thoroughly. Disadvantages of distraction, we act without being prepared. Advantages of flow, we know what we should be doing at any given moment. Disadvantages of distraction. We frequently get stuck and don't know how to proceed. Advantages of flow. Our mind is clear and overcomes all obstructions, obstacles to the flow of thought. Disadvantages of distraction. We are plagued by doubts, concerns and low self-esteem. Advantages of flow, it's pleasant. Disadvantages of distraction, it's boring and exhausting. 
Advantages of flow. Our ego fades. We are not the ones controlling the activity or task we are doing. The task is leading us. Disadvantages of distraction. Constant self-criticism. Our ego is present and we feel frustrated. Flow in Japan. Takumis engineers, geniuses and otakus. What do takumis, artisans, engineers, inventors and otakus, fans of anime and manga, have in common. They all understand the importance of flowing with their ikigai at all times. One widespread stereotype about people in Japan is that they are exceptionally dedicated and hardworking even though some Japanese people say they look like they are working harder than they really are. There is no doubt though there is no doubt though about their ability to be completely absorbed in a task or about their perseverance when there is a problem to be solved. One of the first words one learns when starting Japanese lessons is ganbaru, which means to persevere or to stay firm by doing one's best.